evaluating the investor was a uh, was a very challenging and very interesting uh, proposition so we had to put our heads together we had to sit down and decide that other than the money what is the investor bringing to the table uh, what are the contacts what are the kind of uh, leverage that we are going to get are we going to get uh, you know any uh, uh, any specific visibilities any specific customers are they going to help us uh, reach out to uh, legislation because being a business which is let's say concept related you need a lot of help in terms of legislation in terms of uh, pitching towards government contacts so uh, we then really had to decide between the few people that we were talking to that the best person would not only be a person who would only bring money to the table but also would have all these things plus we wanted a person who would understand our business best and avishkar really understood our business best and they uh, they realized that we were a we were a good mix for them the kind of impact that we were making was also very very relevant to uh, to their fund and uh, you know sanitation being extremely uh, necessary and needy there was a huge requirement it's just that it was not a glamorous kind of a, uh, a business and that's why the bankers and most of the other people were not able to probably appreciate or being conservative uh, it was not very easy to to really do that and uh, avishkar realized the potential and they they invested with us i think we we are happy that we went went with them uh, we had quite a few suitors but uh, they were definitely the best uh, match for us creating a pitch uh, to the to the investor uh, we had very clear uh, data and we had the proof that what we had done we were working on the ground we were working with the bottom of the pyramid we were working with uh, the users who are actually laborers construction workers and uh, of course people who came for large trade fairs and uh, large pilgrim sites uh, these were the users that really used our product and from where our uh, revenue came from our revenue also came from uh, the construction sites and the revenue came in the form of probably the uh, construction the promoter <coughs> paying us uh, the money and sometimes it was the labor contractor sometimes it was the people so it was a mixed kind of a model and it was relevant uh, you know for most of uh, the the uh the 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 investors they wanted to see the real effect that this could have and we really realized that we had to pitch forward the main aspect which was a which was the social impact the revenue model how are we going to get profits and of course the scale in which cities are we going to grow we are already proved to our investors that we are already there in three and four cities we are already growing we are already scaling and when we actually showed them on paper that this is what we can do and if we receive this infusion of capital this is how we can go ahead it was quite a win win for us and for them and uh, it it met both our uh, requirements which was the uh, money that we needed to grow and of course uh, avishkar wanted to invest in a fund which was uh, uh, socially inclined and uh, our impact was absolutely totally socially inclined we are providing toilets to people in india which is probably the uh, one of the biggest uh, requirements today in our country and it was uh, meeting a huge social need the experiences with uh, avishkar and our second investor responsibility are both slightly different although uh, what they were looking for was a they were looking at promoter passion they were looking at the transparency in the organization what kind of corporate governance we had what kind of mises we had what kind of systems we had what was the plan how are we going to go ahead with this uh, everything that was related to a lot of integrity a lot of uh, passion a lot of um, uh, goal orientation and things like that but uh, in both the cases there was a slight difference in the form in the sense that our first pitch to avishkar for example uh, was different than the pitch that was for uh, for responsibility with avishkar it was you know we absolutely were in a situation where funding was necessary for us to even start we had a very very uh, well i think at that time when they invested our turnover was probably i don't know it was like uh, you know probably couple of couple of crores and when they invested maybe a little more than that but uh, we needed funds we were desperate for funds and uh, you know i think uh, at that point of time our pitch was more towards you know showing them uh, much our, our vision was also probably much shorter we were looking at uh, you know that we are going to create uh, 10 crores of revenue in 2 years and 3 years and things like that and so obviously uh you know the kind of revenue that we were looking at the kind of uh, profits that we were looking at, always were a lot different and then we did not have much exposure to this uh, kind of thing and uh, we got a lot of work done through the chartered accountant through our accountants through us we were making so many kind of uh, details which we put into the system and uh, it was not i would not say it was a very great effort although we did get a lot of assistance subsequent from our investment bankers again which uh, really helped us in sort of fine tuning what we had but again it was the first time experience so things were a little different the second time over of course when we went in with responsibility we were not very desperate it was more uh, you know let's say the previous fund uh, you know was probably coming towards a certain uh, maturity level and everybody was looking at raising capital because there was growth had probably become a little less and we wanted to increase we wanted to scale so 
obviously the requirements were different. We had to look at a different kind of a fund. The amount that was required was going to be slightly higher. So there were so many different parameters. And then of course we were a lot better equipped to handle uh, the second time over was much easier. Of course because the due diligence process, the business diligence, everything was, you know, we had all the documents, everything was very transparent, everything was very properly maintained, our company secretary records were properly maintained. So it was much, much faster the second time over. Uh, and uh, you know everything was done uh, I would say in quite a lot of uh, speed uh, and yes I do agree I mean there are always you have a lot of conflicts between uh, you know these discussions that you have and they always disagreements about certain things but uh, that's that's pretty much how things go and at the end of the day you realize that it is a win-win for everybody as long as you agree that it is a win-win things are fine I mean you can then it's it's the right right fit for you and uh, I would say that uh, the second time over, uh, we did get a lot of support from our uh, from our initial investor also, and uh, you know we did also did a lot of discussions. We had a lot of tripartite discussions, and again, as I mentioned, we did also have an investment banker for the second round, the same one that we used for the first round, and it helped us a lot because you know he knows understands your business better. He knows your business better. He can negotiate with people. He can negotiate with these people, and he knows how private equity and investor runs funds and everything works. Whereas we are not really well acquainted that well acquainted, although we have done it one time over we are not with them time and again all the time so it's always helpful to have a uh, you know an investment banker or let's say a professional who can actually guide you through this process